Well, good morning, campers. It's um, the 1st of October, so pinch punch, 1st of the month. I hope you're all all right. Um, it's 6.40, something. I'm at Stonehenge, uh, just made myself a cup of tea, woke up about quarter past six. Nothing much going on. Was um, quite surprised. I was going to not really go into it again, but this guy, this uh, jock in a box, um, when I put my two videos up, or two videos I got sent me, whatever you want. Seems to have got loads and loads of looks and what have you. Um, does this show what our nature is? That we go looking for the worst in people? I personally like looking for the best of people. I don't usually bother with people I don't like. They're horrible. But like they used to say about news when I was being brought up when I was young, today's news is tomorrow's fish and chip paper. Well, you youngest wouldn't know that because um, I don't you've ever had fish and chips wrapped up in newspaper. Um, hang on a minute. I only thought that, one, thought that one recording. Anyway, I, um, I wrote it down. I had... A private message from a woman, I presume a woman, about this jock in the box saying what number bus he drove. Not really sure what that means. I think he might be a, well, obviously a bus driver somewhere. And asked me if I wanted his address. which I replied, why would I want his address? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, um, I don't really want to word this really weird. I don't know how to word this really. But my opinion on this jock as a box, it's not a very high one. Um, if somebody approaches him, if, if what's said about him is, is true, then, let's put it this way. If somebody approaches him on the road, he gives him a hard time. In my opinion, it's something you brought on yourself. Um, you know, I think I personally, if I met him, or he approached me, is I don't think I'd have me hunting, shooting and stabbing that on because it's only a, a bit of fraud anyway, isn't it? You know, the only thing is just brings everybody's name into disrepute, doesn't it? You know, you get funny things. I mean, like some bloke put on there, um, I put, no, some bloke put one thing on, on the uh, Facebook channel, not Facebook channel, my YouTube channel. And he put, um, something gangster. Are you a gangster or do you think you're a gangster? And then he put not. But then when you look to see who the bloke is, I mean, I, I might not be skillful enough to be able to find out who it is, but it makes no difference to me. I mean, just like sticks and stones and all that. But then I went to show somebody else it, or told somebody else about it, and they looked and uh, he'd taken it down. Well, it's like somebody saying something, you know, then you challenge them and they go, oh, 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 I never said that, I never said that. I mean, a lot of things in my past, if I told you about, would seem, I think, unbelievable. Like years and years of riding motorcycles, still riding a motorcycle, being in outlaw clubs. Not the outlaws, I don't mean them at all, but in what they would call 1% clubs. You know, different things over the years. Being a president for a while of the last one I was in. 
you know, things do happen that are a bit unsavoury on times. But then people say, if you're in a motorbike cycle club or something like that, that you're a law unto yourself. Well, I don't think you're a law unto yourself as in breaking the country's laws. But you do have a law or rules that you abide by. So you do have laws under yourself, I presume. Uh, yeah, it's a bit strange. But getting back to this jock in a box, I mean, people say about it. I mean, look where, where I got my information from. Was off the internet, so it must be true. Um, and the guy was very careful to say all the bad things about him or all the things that have happened about him, which, which, are, which are perfectly true, I presume, but not mention him. Well, as soon as I found out who it was, I put it up, you know, because I think that's the right thing to do. I don't know, like hiding things. I mean, if you were in travel in chalk, I mean, I've had that going over three years, and I don't want this to run on. I've had that going over three years, and it's always on there. I'm admin, and my nephew's admin. I have had one message to admin complaining about other members of the club. That was when I first started. I done what I said I'd do. I made it public. The next thing, the guy is gone. Left, left, you know. But I don't like this fucking sneaky, stabbing, backstabbing, you know, he said so-and-so, you know. Oh, I'm going to get into it. Oh, you should be in touch with admin over this, you know. Well, if you don't like it, fuck off. You know, if you don't like the way I run things, don't stay here. I love you all. I want, you know, I'd love to build my channel. I'd love to get my channel going. You know. Yeah, but um, yeah. It's um, I don't know. I don't really. I'm just gonna really gonna go online. I just have to sit down and I have to sit down and write notes. But I mean, somebody sending me, you know, it's like sending me the the bus number that he drives. Um, oh, another thing they said. They said, do you want to know his shift pattern? The fuck do I want to know his shift pattern for? You know. Oh, it could tell you where he lives or where he stays. You know, well, if you want to tell me that, tell me. Don't fucking beat about the bush and, you know, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to give you something important. It's not important to me. You know, I just, you know, I hope the guy sorts himself out, wish him well, and I hope he gets on with life. You know, but you won't get on very well in life going around ripping people off because you'll rip the wrong people off. And then it really will go tits up. But the guy that sort of said to me about, oh, you're a bit of a gangster. But I'm not a bit of a gangster. I'm a 70 year old bloke, disabled bloke. Not that disabled, driving about in a van. Had my altercations with other van lifers. I mean, I could, this guy that um, got the police to me, you know, I've got all his messages, private messages from site that I was on. Still got them all. Um, for any reason, them if they want them. It makes a difference to me. Know what the guy's like. You know. Could tell you what the guy, what I mentioned, the guy in the past, I don't really want to mention him again. Um, and, you know, it's just sort of thing. But like, all this moaning and groaning, what, five days ago, six days ago, about this jock in a box, you know, is, it's all died a natural death now, isn't it? Everybody goes, bar, 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 and then nothing. 
Yeah. Anyway, I'm up here at Stonehenge. Don't know what it's like now. I'll let you have a little look. So I've got no clues on, so I've got to be a bit careful. Um, I slept really well last night, but I woke up at quarter past six while awake. There's nobody about. I presume the sun's up, but nothing's showing yet. I don't know where the, moon, where the moon is. The moon was up, up, up over there, but I don't think you can see it. You might be able to see it. I can't see it because I'm here. I'll stick it over, stick it over, the, over the van. We still got moonlight. I don't know. Anyway, that's about it. But see, listen, you can hear the traffic going on the A3. There they are going up the hill up over there. You yeah, know, Jill on the side of the van. Put that down. Right. Anyway, peeps, I'll let you go on with that. Have a, remember, it's the first of the month. We do love each other. And um, like I said, I'm very, very surprised that I usually get I got 400 and some subscribers, so I could do with some more. Because like I said, if I get to a thousand, then I can um, do some vlogs and we can talk to each other. We can have speaks. My mate Binky would say, ring me up and go, I need to see you, dear boy. We need to have speaks. <laughs> then um, that's my time when I was, well, I still am the world champion gut barger when I was running gut barging. And if you look that up on the internet, under Mad Maurice, the Belgian from Melksham, You'll find bits and pieces of me when I was fighting. But that's by the boy as well. That's another story which I could tell you about if you're interested. But, you know, I don't know you are. Anyway, peeps. Um, yeah, I wish you all well. I wish this jock in a box or cock in a box. I would like to call him really because I think he's a cock. Um, I hope he uh, sorts himself out. Gets back down and sees this people, this bear, whatever it is, and sorts it out with him. Um, and starts with a clean slate. Anyway, peeps, I'll speak to you all later. Remember, stay classy, no fighting, and have a wonderful day, and I love you all. Bye-bye.